beer review for today. We are drinking this here. This is called um, Fibonacci. 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 Um, by, I don't know who it's by actually. It's by SPOH. It says down here, SPOH. So Fibonacci, it's an American amber ale. The taste notes for this say, Fibonacci is our American amber ale. AAA. It is a product of an elaborate elaboration that follows the math mathematical principles of the Fibonacci sequence so that the cooking starts with 75 minutes and 75 grams of hops with an ascending sequence in the amounts of hops and a descending sequence in the adhesion time of these so the Fibonacci sequence is um, a sequence of numbers where the next number is this, um, the sum of the previous two numbers so it'll be like one and one then it'll be three then it'll be four then it'll be seven you know so that's the Fibonacci sequence. So that doesn't make any sense. 75 minutes and 75 grams. Normally, normally it starts at zero. Hops with ascending sequences. And it doesn't doesn't descend. It's an ascending sequence, isn't it? Um, in the adhesion times of these, gradually leading us to late additions of lots of hops, achieving a great experience between the sets of hops and marked hopping. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Welcome in, Ewok. How are you doing, my good friend? Lovely to see you. Hopefully you've had a good week so far. We're just on beer review. So I'll just talk about this beer, Fibonacci beer. Their explanation of why it's called Fibonacci doesn't make any sense because their hopping schedule doesn't follow the Fibonacci, um, any pattern of Fibonacci because it's like the previous two numbers added together give you the next number. It doesn't seem to do that, but we'll get open anyway. Can's pretty. <laughs> I'll give them that. The can is pretty. It's like oranges and stuff in a swirl. So yeah, we'll give it that. Well, what is the strength of it? It is 4.6%, so not necessarily a strong beer. Well, Cascal is an IT guy. Cascal can solve it. Because I've forgotten everything and it's more fun than going back to previous. Yeah, I do that with KSP. Always go back and just start again. It's way more fun starting again because you've made mistakes. I didn't understand a word of that. A word of what I just said. Sorry, I'm not very good at Englishing sometimes. Oh, and Olaf Cat's here, Esme, for you. This is Olaf Cat. He's there having a sleep. He's there having a little sleep. He's been out busy doing cat stuff all day. Right, let's get this poured out. Oh, already it's quite a... It's an orange, like this color of orange is almost the same color as the cat. And you can't really see it because of the lights. Let's put it down here. Yeah, the orange of the beer is almost the same as this orangey brown. It's almost the same color. <laughs> Thank you for giving Olaf a treat. We'll give him a, a treat in two seconds. Well, there you go, Esme. You could just start on House Flipper too. That makes way more sense. Right, so color-wise, it's quite a dark orangey brown smell. It doesn't really have much of a smell, to be honest. There's not much going on. I just got a whiff of bad dog food. That's not very interesting, is it? I don't want a whiff, a, a whiff of bad dog food. It tastes like ass. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like ass. I'm worried now because it smelled like dog food. It's going to taste like ass. Nah, that's boring. That's because they didn't follow a Fibonacci sequence, isn't it? They said, oh, we called it this because we followed a sequence. No, they didn't. They started off on 75 and went both ways from it. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That's why the beer's tasteless. They fucked up. <laughs> so I'm getting angry about numbers now. <laughs> Get angry about everything. Um, so yeah, it's all right. Do you know what? It's quite like, there's not much flavor to it, so it's quite like the kind of thing you can sit there and enjoy over the course of an evening. If you're kind of wanting to smash back a few beers and you're not really worried, but you want something a little bit more, um, a little bit less mainstream, a little bit more, um, I can't think of the word for it now, crafty, a little bit more crafty. This is probably the thing to go for. There's not much flavor to it. There's not much strength for the alcohol content either. So, you know, a good beer to just sup upon. Oh, and that reminds me as well. I always forget to put this in. If you want a half price box of beers, click on that link, wherever that link is. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give this probably a, we'll give it a three out of five. Best beer ever, three out of five. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs>